we're going to start by removing all jewelry from our hands and our wrists and washing our hands thoroughly under warm water. We're then going to apply antiseptic soap onto our hands without the fingers touching the dispenser. We're then going to rub that into our palms five times and then rub it on the back of our hands five times. We're then going to intertwine the fingers and rub that in about five times. Then I'm going to put the palms together with the fingers intertwined and rub that in five times. I'm going to clasp our thumbs and rub that in in circular motions five times. We're then going to clasp our fist and rub that into the palms of our hands. We're then going to rinse the soap off our hands, making sure there is no soap left over. We're then going to take disposable paper and dry our hands, making sure that no soap is left over on our hands. We're then going to dispose of the paper in the bin. Now here's just a repeat of how to clinically wash your hands. Now using an alcohol gel, we're going to show you how to do the alcohol hand rub technique. We want to pump about five mils into the palms of your hands, and we're going to rub that into the palms of our hands five times. We're then going to rub it onto the backs of our hands about five times. We're then going to interlock our fingers and rub that in about five times. And we're going to rub our palms together about five times. We're then going to clasp our thumbs and rub that in circular motions about five times each. We're then going to rub our palms in circular motions about five times using our fingertips. There is great importance of doing the correct clinical hand washing techniques. Number one, your hands will be free from 99.9% .9 of microorganisms, both pathogenic and commensals. Number two, the alcohol gel kills all viable or living microorganisms off your hands. Number three, it prevents the transmission of infection, which inevitably prevents the spreadage or the chain of infection. The following techniques should be ideally used by everyone. However, on a day-to-day -day basis, it is more important for people like the doctors, surgeons, nurses, and medical and laboratory workers to use these techniques both entering and exiting the lab. The above techniques should be used always when entering and exiting a hospital, when working in between patients and samples, entering and exiting a lab, or when handling possibly contaminated food 